Well, arthritis is a symptom of a disease. We don't really see it as a disease. When the bone to bone contact gives excruciating pain, when the cartilage is wearing out, when the synovial fluid is no longer there as a lubricant between bone and bone, something, some other things are wrong with the system. And that's why in my discussion with arthritis, I'll not be discussing just drugs to stop the pain. If you are taking the just drugs, the pain continues forever. But we are looking at these things that are deficient. How do we replace them? First and foremost, for women, once you are under menopause, your, your estrogen level is very low. Estrogen is the one that helps in absorption of calcium, which is a major mineral for bone formation. And if you are under menopause, you don't have that sex hormone called uh, estrogen, or it's very, very low. Even if you take uh, uh, any food that contains a calcium, it won't be absorbed. That's why older women, once they fall, they, they, when they break their legs, it's hard to, uh, to rebuild again. That's what we call osteoporosis. Uh, what do we do? In nature, even when by, by reason of age you don't have estrogen again, we have what we call phytoestrogens. Phytoestrogens are estrogens in plants which are very important. Why do we have it? We are so called uh, what we call uh, lemongrass. Lemongrass tea will provide you with estrogen that you need. This is what one, once you have uh, arthritis as a woman, you, you need it. Again, it's um, uh, heart diseases that normally, you know, remove uh, block, blood supply to the, those joints. Uh, take care of the heart, take care of the kidney malfunctioning. The, the waste that accumulate in the, in the joints will be off. And, uh, and they see the, the, the muscles rebuilding the cell and even the bones. Then what about the one called the lubricants, oils, oils that lubricate the joints? Yes, the virgin olive oil is there. Once you, I don't mean just every other oil, take virgin olive oil. It's not only for frying, for cooking, it's there as medicine. Nuts that will supply that calcium, something like coconut, there, almond nut, uh, cashew nut, they supply you minerals like calcium, like, uh, like uh, uh, magnesium, to repair their bone. I'm sure. If you do this, you'll be free from uh, what you call arthritis. Instead of uh, you know wounding yourself every day, you're taking drug, you're taking drug, you're taking drug. It's only that uh, you're wounding your system. You are, you are wounding internal organs that may be affected by that those drugs. There are foods that cause arthritis. I want to mention first: if you take something like a psychostimulant, food we call psychostimulant, you are bound to have arthritis. What are they? Foods that make you happy, release endorphins, what they call happy hormones, and then normally land you in depression. The foods that really uh, give rise to arthritis are the very ones that affect the heart, and affect kidney, and affect liver. reason is that if waste is not removed from that food, they will accumulate, waste will accumulate between the joints. And once they accumulate there, they will dry up the synovial fluid. Once the synovial fluid, which is a lubricant, is not available in between joints, any effort to make a movement will lead into excruciating pain, arthritis. So those foods that affect the heart, I've mentioned, uh, canned foods, preservatives, they can actually wound the heart. And if they wound the heart, there's no way the heart will supply enough blood to, the, uh, to those kidneys and the liver, liver cells that will remove the waste. Thank you, sir.